Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge in Heavens again. This is another video in the Terraform series. And uh, in this video, we will quickly try to understand that how can you go ahead and set up uh, Terraform on your laptop or on a VM. Basically, the idea is that what are the steps involved, uh, you know, to go ahead and install Terraform on a machine so that uh, you know you can put your terraform code there on that machine and then you should be able to execute it from there okay so this is going to be a real short video and within few minutes uh, you should be able to go ahead and see that so what i've done here is uh, in my aws account i have created a simple linux vm right a, a linux ec2 instance it is amazon linux it is up and running i'm just going to connect to it so I'll use the EC2 instance connect option right from the browser. So I should be able to go ahead and connect to this particular instance. It will be a good thing to just go ahead and run sudo yum update just to make sure that everything is in place. Yeah, all packages are in good shape. So what we will do next is we'll go ahead and just run some of the commands, uh, you know, to to basically install terraform on this particular machine all the required steps are of course given on the terraform website if you want you can pick it up from there i'll just quickly show it to you you have to first install uh, yum config manager so go ahead and do that and uh, you'll have to add hashicops uh, linux repository so go ahead and do that as well once that is done, you will just say install Terraform. All right. This should just take a couple of seconds. And um, once that is done, you can go ahead and run Terraform help just to see whether things are coming up or not. So let's check that. Yep. So that works. Um, it would also be good to just uh, go ahead and run these commands so that auto completion thing works right for example i mean not auto completion the basically when you press the tab the you know the command gets completed that thing right so just run this and with this we should be in good shape all right so it just took probably one minute to go ahead and execute all the commands all right so uh, we are ready to go ahead and uh, now use this machine to execute uh, you know different terraform commands but an important aspect here is that from this machine uh, you know when you will be executing let's say whatever terraform code it has to ultimately interact with aws let's say right so in order to interact with aws this machine should be authorized to do that so you have two options one of the things you can do is either you can go ahead and configure some im user uh, you know like um, an im users access key id and secret access key here on the cli and that then terraform can go ahead and use that or you could go ahead and um, you can give it an im role right to this particular machine now just to check that what identity is currently configured here on this machine what you could do is you can run aws sts get caller identity right this command if you run this you can see here that it says unable to locate any credentials so at this point no im credentials are actually configured so as i told you there are two options if you have seen other videos or you know best practices the best thing would be to go ahead and give an im role to this instance you should not you should try to avoid hard coding the credentials anywhere though on your own personal machine you can configure your access key id and secret access key but wherever possible try to use im roles okay so on this particular machine what i would do is i'll go here to the instances and this is the machine which i'm using what i'll do is go to actions uh, go to security modify im role and i have created an im role called terraform role i'll just select that and say update im role 
all right so that's done here so now if i go back to the cli here and i run aws sts get caller identity you can see that it says that yep you know it is able to find that particular im role which i just allocated so basically if you go ahead and look at the definition of this particular im role which is here like terraform role i've just named it terraform role so if you look at the definition of this particular im role um, i have i've just given two policies right one is amazon ec2 full access another one is read only access you know i i mean you can very well go ahead and give administrator uh, access but i would avoid doing that because not a good practice right uh, so basically the code which i'm gonna run from this particular machine or basically i can say the resources with which i'm gonna interact or the resources which i'm gonna create you know using my terraform code they are mostly gonna be within ec2 uh, area or within ec2 service that's why this thing works in case i want to create an rds as well i can very well add rds related permissions here in this particular role right i can very well go to like let's say add permissions and just search for rds full access and i can very well give this uh, i can very well attach this particular policy to the role as well so now uh, you know using the same role uh, you know i can go ahead and run terraform code which will uh, which will uh, create update ec2 instances related services rds instances and related services etc okay all right so um, that's it i mean if you want you can very well go ahead and check things here you know just try to run aws ec2 describe instances you know if you run this it will say that you have not configured region so you can either do aws configure or you can very well overwrite this thing and just you know write it here so uh, in in my northern virginia region of course i don't have any any instance so it doesn't give any details right if i go and try to run this thing for uh, mumbai right so for mumbai it is ap south one if i run the same thing using p south one then you can see uh, it gives me the details of the vm which is running okay or i think both the vms currently because the, the other one is yet to get cleaned up it is in the terminated state but it is yet to get cleaned up okay anyway so those were the steps you know for you to go ahead and uh, basically just set up your machine so that you can you can go ahead and run terraform code right uh, we'll look at other activities in our next video thank you Congrats on completing that tutorial. We have a lot more similar awesome tutorials on our channel which you can go through in the playlist section. Let us know what you think about our videos in the comment section and if you like it, please do share it with your friends and hit the like button. Thank you.